Oscar for Elijah George Taylor and I applied to the University of the People um, a little bit over a year ago and my experience was very interesting. Well, the first thing you should know is that when you are registering, you have to pay $60 to get the to get your papers looked at. And yes, you do have to have your complete papers. But the good thing is that you can apply online. You can send your papers through scan and they do accept it. So some stuff that really, really, really got to me was the fact they're so organized and everybody's there is really, really nice. And everybody's so friendly and they have a community full of very nice people. So, um, University of the People uh, allowed me to talk to people all over the world. I made friends and they had communities and WhatsApp groups exclusive to students only. And it was a very fantastic experience. I can't lie, I had fun. So my problem lies with the fact they advertise this as a free university, tuition free, but they don't tell you that you have to pay for exams. As at the time I was paying $60, I did not know the exams were going to cost me 200. And that's because I'm a master's student. Bachelors pay $100. I feel this kind of thing should be stated from the beginning. You pay $200 for exams or you pay $100 for exams. Do not apply without reading this. That would be very fantastic. Like, oh my gosh. When I was checking about this, I did not see this. I did not see you have to pay 200. I did not see you have to pay 100. So this was really like, oh! I was really upset about it. Like really angry, like, oh my gosh, why? Uh, I'm not funny, sorry. Anyway, so um, the dashboard is very nice. The It's user friendly. You can use it very easily. You can check your scores. You can do everything from that dashboard. I got to say it was fantastic. And uh, it was really a fantastic opportunity. So the next thing, the students grade your papers. So the teacher is not going to grade the papers. So this kind of bothers me because when a student graded my paper, they graded me really down and I had to make a complaint and then the lecturer went through my work and gave me two grades higher. So I do not like the idea of, being, of another student grading me. I don't like it. Let the professor grade my work. So you don't know who's going to grade your paper. So if you think you're going to pull a fast one and they are not allowed to write names on the exams as they're being graded or um, tests or assignments. So you won't even know who's grading your paper. You don't know anything about it. Um, another thing that is interesting about the University of People is the lack of videos and the lack of actual content. What they tell you is they give you books and then they tell you, oh, read through this, read through this, do this assignment, do this, and then discuss it in class. And I'm like, uh, I would prefer a video of this professor teaching. And uh, <laughs> there is none. There is none. It's like so weird because that's not what I'm used to. And uh, I guess it threw me off a bit. And I think that's where my problem lies. That's where my problem lies. <laughs> that's where my problem lies. I just wanted to be taught. I just wanted to be taught. Anyway, seriously. <laughs> seriously changing to the actual fact is that that, that that was really one thing that threw me off. Back from paying the 200 for this free university, and uh, the $60 and any other thing, the fact the students grade my assignment, there's no videos of the lecturer teaching. I'm like, man, this is really self-paced. And I'm like, I don't wanna learn this way. I'd rather just go to the university to learn. So the University of the People website is a fantastic idea and I'm thankful to them for trying to lower the cost of education. But the thing is that education is already really cheap in Africa and the countries that need it. Like in, I can 
pay for my whole semester with less than $60. That's inclusive of exams. So why should I pay 60, why should I pay $200 per exam? Just explain that to me bit by bit. And I want, and I think I may be able to comprehend. Okay, so um, just thinking about that really did throw me off. And maybe you should look into it. You can, you cannot. But I personally, I wasn't a fan of University of the People. Sorry, guys. I prefer videos. And I also like if students didn't grade my papers. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the link to University of the People down in my video so you can go check it out yourself if you want a tuition free university but you still have to pay for exams this is a perfect place if you want to be taught by the american system perfect place um if you want high quality education perfect place but um if you're like me and you do not want to learn self-paced it's not for you if you cannot do that do not get do not get involved just better just go with your normal university. Bye.